Hello, human beings. Jay Steadman here with another episode of Did You Know? And there's been a lot of conversations around flow and a difficulty curve. So I wanted to show you today how you can create a very easy flow. In fact, did you know that you can create a flow with one element and one resource that will update your records? Let's take a look. So I'm here in setup, and we're going to create a before save flow on the opportunity object. Uh, I've already selected the flow home screen, but you can find this by typing in flow in the quick find box and then clicking flow here. That will load all of the flows that are currently in your work. I'm going to click the new flow button. And here I can select record triggered flow. So we'll start with record triggered flow. We can select freeform or auto layout. In this case, I'll select auto layout, but really the choice is yours. Now that we're here, we can choose to trigger the flow when a record is created, updated, created or updated, or deleted. In this case, we're going to say a record is created, and we're going to select to optimize the flow for fast field updates. Now this runs the automation before the record is saved. And I'm going to select the opportunity object. So this is the opportunity before save flow. Um, there are no conditions. Every time that we create a new opportunity, we will create an opportunity and run this before save flow. So we have our uh, beginning criteria uh, all set here. Our goal is to update the opportunity name so that it combines the amount with the type of opportunity and the name of the account. So I'm going to create a new resource, first things first. This new resource is going to be a formula. It's what's actually going to assign the new name. So I'm going to call this F underscore. And in this case, F underscore references a formula. So this is going to be a formula for the opportunity name. Now I shortened opportunity to opti, but the naming convention is pretty solid here. It's F underscore opti name. Right? If I were to create another formula, it would also have F underscore at the beginning of it. Um, and that just makes it easy for me to know where my formulas are. I'll also put in a handy description for the new name of the opportunity. Now, the data type here is going to be text. And we can reference all of the fields from our records by clicking through and selecting them here. So if I wanted to reference the amount, I have the amount referenced here. Now I'm going to grab three different fields and I put them together in a macro, but that's all right. I will explain to you what we're doing here and why. So you can see that I've referenced the account name from the record. I've added a plus sign. Then I've put in quotes space dash space and another plus sign. Then I've got the uh, type from our current record. And then I've got the addition of the plus signs and the space dash space. And then I've got uh, the amount. Now I've translated the name of the account, the type of the record, and the amount of the record into text. That's what the text formula means here. There is no text formula field at the beginning of record name because the account name is already text. And adding the quotations here, allows the formula to be parsed as text as well. So at the end of the day, this would say something like shoe la la space dash space new customer space dash space $250,000. Now the reason that we've got the formula operating here is uh, we don't want to have to go into the flow and hard code things. Now one of the advantages of working with a before save flow is that all I need to do is create a single assignment element. So I'm going to say that this element's name is change name. Changes name to fit current business needs. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select our current record. That's what dollar sign record means. Now I'm inside that record and I need to find the name. So I can scroll down. And these are all in alphabetical order, or I can type. So I've typed N-A-M. I can select name. It says equals, 
And now I can choose my formula. So now what I'm saying is, before this record saves, when opportunities are new, I want you to turn the opportunity name into the formula that I have provided to you. So I'm going to click Done. I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to call this Opportunity Before Save includes all before save automation for the opportunity object. Now I'm going to save. I'm also going to activate because this is all we need. So we've created this flow by first making a formula and then assigning that formula to a field in our flow. Now we could debug here, which is a pretty handy feature, but because our formula references a field on another record, the debug won't display our total success here. So I'm gonna go back into our org and we're going to uh, fire this uh, in a sandbox. Currently I'm in my dev org, but we, also, we always want to uh, follow best practices. So if you were uh, working from a production instance, you would have a sandbox that would be connected and you'd work from that. So let's create a new opportunity. I'm going to collect uh, a little bit of information here. Uh, close date is required. So let's just set it as October 31st. Opportunity name. I'm just going to put anything in there. Stage. I'm going to set it as prospecting type, which is important to our formula. I'm going to select new customer. Amount, I'm going to select $250,000. And let's add the account name of Shulala. So let's save and see what happens. Check it out. Shulala, space dash space, new customer, space dash space, 250,000. Looks like our formula has worked. One last thing to check. Uh, let's change the amount to $150,000. Now, I am making this change just to prove that the automation is only running when a new record is created. So when I click Save here, I should expect the name of the opportunity to remain the same, but the amount should change. Whether or not that's appropriate for business is irrelevant to the test. So I am going to Save. And you can see that the name, Shulala, new customer, 250000 has stayed the same while the amount has changed. So this confirms that we're able to change fields and save the record and the naming convention will stick. And that's how you can create a, an update record flow uh, with one element and one resource. Thanks for joining us.